вот тут друган мой был. Ah, uh, the SKS. What's not to love? It's a one tap machine if it's in ten rounders, and if you have a seventy five round drum, well, uh, dear God, that is horrifying. But uh, you know, this weapon isn't that complicated. But if you want a good demonstration of how to use it, first you acquire your SKS, take a look at it. If it's in low durability, doesn't matter. You equip it. You load it with 10 bullets, and you're good to go. If you want to do some extra modding, skip ahead to later in the video. In fact, no, actually, no. I don't do a demonstration of the modding, because it's not necessary, okay? I need to instill this into you early on. Modding is not necessary. Okay? If you want modding, go for the App SKS, okay? But this is the Simonov. I'm not doing a separate video on the App SKS. They're too similar, okay? The App SKS is good. Simon of SKS is good, but the real reason to use this is because of the bullets. But I'm gonna get into that in a second. Now, if you don't go for the route of extra furnishings with, if you're using an op SKS, use the Simonov. Unless you really plan on using an optic, the iron sights are fine as long as you set your sensitivity right. Just don't take off the rear iron sight. It doesn't help as much as you think. If you feel like it, fine. Your gun, you spent the rubles, you got it. I per personally prefer a normal iron sight, but uh, you do you, and I'll do me. Okay. Anyway, uh, there's also you can you can note you can use BP with this, by the way. Load it from your secure. Don't have it in your pockets, especially if you're doing rat runs. If you're using a nice SKS, you might as well just use it with 20 rounders and use it normally. You know, no real reason to. You know, make it all nice and stuff. Anyway, uh, but PS is more widespread, and there's a reason why I should use it. Let's get into that. Now, I am an absolute nerd when it comes to the stats of Tarkov. I love looking at them, especially ammunition. Now, there was a slightly sneaky change that came to PS762 as of this wipe. They buffed its, I believe, armor damage, or maybe their penetration slightly, maybe both. Uh, you can look at the two pictures, I forgot what they said. I the, the earlier one is from December 20 of 2021, but, and it's from the Wayback Machine. Now here's the thing, that image is very close to how I remember it from last wipe, which is when I joined. So I can verify that it's correct and is an accurate representation of what it was before. Now there's a bit more to this, you see, when, uh, l let me explain the ammo chart. Level 6 effectiveness, straight through, 90, over 90% chance. 5, that's when you start getting to like 60, 70, 50, you know, it's, it needs to build up. And while that does still sound good, you know, hey, it stopped it. Stopping it doesn't negate damage. If something is close to penetrating, it kind of represents, you know, when something nearly penetrates a piece of armor, there's a lot of deformation on the other end, so that's the blunt damage, you know. Bullet hasn't gone through, but some of the energy is still making its way through. The blunt damage for PS against level 4 is very close to its normal damage. It's roughly around 50... It's in the 50s or in the 40s, you know. It won't dip down in the 30s until you start shooting people who have Karans. Usually, once you get up to 3 effectiveness, it's only roughly 20% of the damage that's going through. So, for like T41 against level 4 is roughly 20. And for PS against uh, a Kurund, that'll also be around 20. Kind of interesting how that works. So, it's still going to 2 tap people through level 4 or 2 or 3 tap. Still very effective for an early on bullet. Use it, abuse it, while they haven't uh, nerfed it into the ground. But how about actually using the SKS? You know, we've been talking about the numbers, and so far, on paper, it looks good. But then again, a lot of things look good on paper. Uh, the SR25. Looks great. It's mega expensive. For the performance, it, def it definitely, definitely matches its price tag, but it does have that price tag, you know? I, I don't think the SR25 is a good example of the SKS. 
you get what you pay for in Tarkov, okay? But let's see if this is worth even trying out in the first place. Now, it's always everybody's favorite enemy, the Scav. How does it stack up against him? Well, as you saw through a few of my previous clips, it's good. It, it, it does deliver a large amount of stopping power, and is definitely and that extra stopping power is definitely useful because of variable Scav health pools. Now, if you just learned of this, here's a picture. Okay, so the first one is a standard uh, PMC health pool, overall basic. This one, this one's a bit trickier, considering some rounds will be forced to 3-tap, and then there's just this. Why, why is giving scavs close to double the amount of the health of a PMC? I don't know why they thought that was a smart idea, especially considering they can spot with good armor. You know, if you get a 740 health scav with a gazelle, level 5, you gotta hit a headshot. Heck, even the 40 health, that that Eagle Nick will not one-tap those last two uh, health groups. So, uh, but, P.S. will. Let me get that snap right. I can't get the snap right. I was going to snap and then say, but P.S. will do just fine. It will. It's, it's, it, it'll do fine. You are going to be fine against scabs. Now, the SKS, is it effective against PMCs? Well, is 762 by 39 effective against PMCs? And it is, you know. It will kill somebody. It, it's, it's effective, come on. It's, it's an SKS, come on. Give it some respect, you know. And also, it is an SKS, so you're gonna be limited to, well... You can get 75 round drums. Okay, yeah, the SKS is really viable, you know? Like, again, full auto is good, but then again, usually full auto tends to be inaccurate and overall, uh, you know, tends to be more expensive. So, the SKS is overall just a great, cheap way to sling lead and not have to pay the repercussions for it, you know? You don't, you, you can shoot 7.62x39, but you don't have to pay full-on meta AK prices for it, you know? Which is nice. Then there's modding. Okay, I left this for last because it's the least important whatsoever. Okay, the least important. There's there's a few options. If you want the op SKS, you can put a scope. You can put the UAS or whatever. You can put all that stuff on it, but it doesn't matter. Okay, the only mods you should really touch are. Okay, maybe sometimes the 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 Bubba SKS is kind of can be nice just because of their performance, but. They're not worth it. Like, an op SKS with a sight and a suppressor is good, you know? That's as expensive as it needs to get, really, for me. So I'm going to say, use the SKS. Use it how you want. If you want better stats, go for it. I can understand it if you want to run a bit more geared. I would say, if you're going to use the 75-round drum, have a backup 20-rounder in case things get dicey. But other than that... The SKS is a solid, viable weapon, and I hope this video was a better quality than the last Tarkov video. I've been trying to improve, but... I don't know. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it greatly.